Hello and welcome to the Savvy Gadgets channel with me Ian, otherwise known as Ven and Elite Dangerous Odyssey was released earlier this week so we're taking a look at the released version having previously played the alphas and uh, we're going to take a look through the tutorial mission which they've provided and perhaps do some other missions. We'll have a good look around the concourse and introduce that and uh, don't forget if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel head over to facebook and follow us on twitter as well and you can also donate to my channel on patreon okay i've already played through the tutorial mission if you wanted to go and uh do it again it's under training and the suit operative tutorial i highly recommend that you actually take this if you've never played elite dangerous before what this will do is will introduce you to the different uh, gadgets that are available to you, like the energy tool, the um, scanning tool, and the arc cutter, which you get on the Maverick suit. And we'll introduce those when we have a look around the concourse a bit later on. So left shift to sprint. Okay, so we're here to steal some data. Now normally when you're out on a mission, you don't have this guy talking in your ear, telling you what to do. You have to do it all yourself, basically. Okay. Power regulators. Okay, so if you didn't know what the storage building looked like, you would have to find it through one of the terminals. Now, what this mission will do is it will teach you to do one of the support missions. Um, and so that you can use a power regulator. Usually those are supplied. Uh, as part of the mission parameters and you basically go to the power station and you put it into the power uh, bit and then it powers up the rest of the station including the weapons and all that sort of thing. It will also teach you how to uh, put out fires in a building. There are several ways you can do that. You can do it from inside from terminals you'll see or you can do it from the outside uh, using the Maverick suit and the arc cutting tool. <clears throat> this mission will also show you how to use the uh, energy tool, energy transfer tool, which you transfer energy to and from your suit uh, to power things, and also the scanning tool, and obviously the cutting tool, which you have on only on the Maverick suit. So you have to be careful, you have to equip yourself properly. We'll talk about that later. So let's get on with the mission. Dead bodies everywhere. Now, if you just look at people, you see that they their stats generally. Now, if you take a look at this body here, it's got like a pink zero next to it. This corresponds to a zero in the bottom left-hand corner, just around my health rectangle. Uh, and what that actually is is that refers to the security profile level that you have, both. I and the dead character in front of me both have a profile of zero, which means I can only access doors that have a profile of zero. 
So hopefully, you can see the sums, persons, the sign. So energy tool, and you point it at that disc there and press fire, and it opens. And you can see the door has a zero on it. That corresponds to my profile level, that way I can get in. This will be covered in a few minutes. T to turn on the torch. So what we're doing is we're taking the power regulator out of this buggy. We have a winner. Take the regulator. You've got a better use for it. And we're going to put it in the power station. I keep pressing C. Let's grab some energy cells while we're here. Shield activated. There should be a right. So the on the other side littered the around the base are consumables like med kits and energy kits. So usually you'll find med kits look like that got a nice big green cross on them and these ones here are energy they do actually end, end up in boxes outside as well now the interesting thing is is um you can actually open lockers and you know <coughs> take stuff but that's illegal or you can cut open as necessary some lockers if they've got a mag lock on them just like the items uh, that we were just looking at a minute ago. Leaving pressurized environment. Charge the ball to the left of the airlock. Since you're inside the building, the airlock will open right up. Energy transfer complete. Our buildings across the yard look sharp. I guess there was a hard fight here once the defenders pulled the power regulator. No power means no data to steal. Right, so this is basically now one of the support the missions. with the right tool, the arc cutter. So around the panel. Aiming at the edges of the panel and off now it comes. Like last time. Energy transfer complete. Yeah, I figured as much. There's an authorization check on this entrance. May as well use the energy link to overcharge the panel. So pressing R to put it into the illegal mode. Gives a short circuit. Doing that usually, but we're in a hurry. Get inside the building. To bring the reactor back online, slot the power regulator in place. Uh, I obviously didn't do that quite right. So goods, power transfer from Maverick so it confer. And there it is. Right. Okay. Now over here on the console. And the I'm nearby body is, is over there. Move, sure this guy. The now you can see that next to his you name he's got a number three. Make sure you're in the profile cloning mode. Scan the bodies nearby. It's a grim job, but that's how it goes sometimes. So using the scanning tool, press it into press R, put it into illegal mode, and point it at the body and clone the profile. So now you'll see in the bottom left hand corner I now have a security profile of three. That's the highest. Now it's worth mentioning if you're walking around with your tools in illegal mode and a guard for a base comes up and scans you, uh, that generally puts them uh, against you and uh, it's because it's committing a crime basically. Alright, so weapons out. Right, so using the energy tool, there's usually a charging station just there. Um, Alright, so this is one of the lockers with the mag lock on it. This one you can just open, and even though this one's got a keypad on it, you can still cut it open like this and take the goods inside, although that is illegal again, and if you're caught with illegal goods, the guards will chase you down. Right, now where's this? Now it's denoted by that 
symbol there. Ah, oh, there it is. So it's this thing here. So you can see it's recharging my suit bottom left. So I've now got a full charge. Now that I've got authority level 3, you see 3 is on the door. It lands them right up for me. So lots of fires everywhere. Yep, there we go. Some more consumables laying around. <coughs> the terminal ahead. Let's see what we can see. Now the terminals are the best way to find what you're looking for on a base. Okay, so if you want to find a member of staff with a decent security level, in a, uh, a base, come to a terminal and use the staff list. Other than that, if you're looking for specific items or locations, use the facility. And we want operations. And we want command data port 1. Oddly enough, it's just around the corner. Here. Right, so this is the data port. Select the data, queue it, and the progress bar is in the top right hand corner. It'll take about 20 seconds for one item of data. If you've got a lot of data that you're downloading, then obviously it takes one more time. Yeah, there they are, scumbags. Okay, so let's make our escape weapons up. Switch your shield on and get moving. You don't want to chew right. through your battery before the shooting starts. You've got hostiles touching down. Now the power's back online, they've come to investigate. Leaving pressurized. Right, so using the double jump on the area. You should see them as soon as the airlock opens. Pick your shots and use the cover around you. You're outnumbered, but not outgunned. The combat gear you have should overlap your combat. You know the drill. Laser for shields, bullets for bodies. Yep. But I bet they're not expecting a badass combat soldier with state of the art gear. Shield activated. And we don't want anyone chasing us home. You are clear to engage. Once all our stars are taken out, we'll push down at the Selman's landing pad. Ah. down, watch your radar for the others. Oh really? Nice. Now they're dropping off some more guys. Let's turn off my torch because uh, that's a dead giveaway of where I am. Grenade! Took my shields offline. Your shield is holding up, but use cover. Shield online. Shields will regenerate, but it's that regeneration time that takes it. Makes you vulnerable. Oh yeah. The beauty of being able to jump around a lot. Could be running out of ammunition soon, let's face it. So what is my ammo count? Not not high. May have to seek out some. There's only 
I know. Uh, there's some over there, denoted by the three lines. Looks like our guy's headed there as well. Got 38 shots. Uh, it's inside the building. Let's see if I can. Entering pressurized environment. There it is. Ammunition and refill. I've now got a lot of ammo at my disposal. He's literally just outside the door. Leaving pressurized environment. Alright, now I've just heard him turn off his shields. He's up there somewhere. So he seems to be moving off to the left. Just heard something. Checking it out. You'll pay for it. Hey! Right, so each of these bad guys, I've got a bounty. So when you're back at base, you can hand those bounties in. That gets you more money. You to drop your weapon. Well, not drop your weapon, but uh, holster it. get on board the ship you walk up to the blue circle sometimes it's the front sometimes it's at the back but from here you can put stuff in your inventory and storage or you just basically board and then as this is like a shuttle your pilot will take you to where you need to go in the meantime you can have a Let's good look around there he is, that's what Dylan looks like. That's the guy who was in whispering in your ear. Okay, so during this time Dylan will fill you in with varying different bits of information like the three main um, Four, factions three. that there are. Two, one, engage. And what he's basically doing is outlining the fact that this is your last mission and you're moving on to freelance, basically. Now this ride will take a couple of minutes and we're going to skip it. Now. Imagine this place has missions to pick up just like any other Star Wars. Okay, so we're coming into land. Dylan, our pilot and uh, guide on our mission. Is dropping us off. It's basically acting like one of the Apex shuttles. Introduce that to you shortly. Yeah, just go and explore. You're a free agent now. You take care of yourself, all right? Show okay, so what you're from here, of. press F3 and disembark. And the disembark option is there for you if you start in your ship. And this basically concludes the tutorial mission. Once you head over these to these lifts. Go okay, hey, chamber them first. There it is. Mission complete. With lift music as well, fantastic. Okay, so I've started the game where I left off X number of years ago with my previous commander. Because I've played before, I'm in my uh, Python uh, at Russell Ring. Um, if you're a new player, you may start off in your Sidewinder in the hangar, or you may start off on the concourse. But if you do start in the ship and you want to get more of the Odyssey, uh, content, hit disembark and then once you're outside on the landing pad head over to the lifts 
and once you're Come on, it's a long row. It's a long run considering for the size of my ship. And then head up and onto the main concourse. Okay, so the main concourse offers uh, a few different bits and pieces. First, you've got mission givers standing around, they will give you an individual mission to do. Uh, there are terminals where you can access missions, hand missions in, uh, do stuff with the authority like get bounty, uh, pay off bounties or collect bounties. Uh, at the top of the stairs we've got the frontline solutions. Frontline solutions is mostly for um, like the joining factions in war. Um, I've not actually done anything with them might have to have a go with that. I did actually do uh, come across a mission on one of my missions where there was a, like a conflict zone. That's what it is. It's the conflict zones, but on foot. It's like the foot version. Uh, Vista Genomics is where you sell organic data that you've collected. And to do that, you need the Artemis suit because it has the genetic sample tool on it. Uh, this helps you uh, manage your ships then terminals more terminals more mission givers more terminals and here we are at the bar now unfortunately they don't sell a pan galactic goggle blaster but these people will actually you like buy like your illegal else. goods are you for work? what you can also do is trade in look. bits and pieces you Anything need you to say you need a weapon component you can trade some of the tech that you've found uh, for weapon components and you need weapon components to upgrade your weapons of course um, you'll also need other bits and pieces like carbon fiber plating and suits take different um, types of materials as well uh, or you can just plain Whatever sell stuff sell of course I haven't got anything at the minute I haven't picked anything up so goodbye it's your loss. then just around the corner Pioneer Supplies. Pioneer Supplies will sell suits and weapons and consumables. So once you've built up a little bit of money, browse the stock and buy yourself, uh, I recommend a Maverick suit. Just go with that for the time being. If you want to try doing genetic sampling and that sort of thing, then the Artemis suit comes with the genetic sampler. Uh, and surprisingly, in the alpha testing that I did, there was a Dominator suit, which is the sort of like the military armor. Um, the difference being is the Maverick suit has the arc cutter to cut through the panels. Uh, the Artemis suit has the genetic sampler. And the Dominator suit, it doesn't have a special tool, but it does have two primary weapon slots so that you can carry two rifles rather than just the one. The other interesting thing here is that these are the uh, these are the only weapons on sale. Uh, that's only here. I mean, if you go to other places, uh, you build up your your rep. Uh, other weapons may come have uh, become available, but the energy weapons are missing from this particular location, just like the Dominator suit is. Uh, but what is interesting, if you check on all of the manufacturers so far, I've got the option to buy kinematic armament armaments. Uh, but there's these other ones which aren't available. And I haven't seen those. So uh, I think the Takada ones are the energy weapon equivalents of these. So you've got uh, an assault rifle, uh, a submachine gun, uh, a rocket launcher, my favourite, and the pistol. And you start off with a pistol. And you start off with a flight suit. So consumables, med kits, up. energy cells, shield disruptors, frag grenades, shield projectors, and e-breaches. E-breaches are hacking tools to get you through doors, but they're quite expensive. Maybe and if you've got a maverick suit, you can just cut your way through them anyway. Then moving round to a Apex Transports. Apex Transports is your... Guide to the Galaxy. If you don't want to fly around yourself, then the shuttles are the next best option. If you're going to fly to the same system, then you will incur a cost of 100 credits, 
generally, but if you're having to go beyond your system and you have to go much further, then the credits will increase. And uh, during alpha testing, the cost was somewhere between seven and eight thousand credits. Now that sounds like a lot, but the missions you will be taking are usually pay a hundred thousand credits and quite often come with bounties which you can sell and they're quite often worth a hundred thousand as well so you're gaining a couple of hundred thousand hello and although you may have oh hello you may have to buy a book a shuttle there and back it's costing you 16 grand but at the same time you're still going to collect somewhere in the region of about 200 thousand so it's not worth too bad so once you've brought yourself some suits you may want to do some loadouts so let's take a look at the terminals so let's look at the missions <clears throat> so if you're starting out you've never played elite dangerous odyssey before or elite dangerous then you probably only have about fifty thousand credits to your name and the very best missions to start off with are transportation missions now what's interesting about the missions and it's worth keeping an eye on is these bolt icons um, basically when you complete a mission and you come back to the terminals you can choose one of three rewards and one of those rewards comes with a chemical inventory of one unit uh, and so if you go for that that's what you'll get as a reward as well as 34,000 credits now to start off with don't worry about that get yourself some decent gear and just go for the money but later on you can sort of pick and choose and so this one has combat training material in it so be careful with the missions you pick up P pick and choose the missions you want depending on what you need really and if it's money just go for money if it's reputation go for reputation if it's a specific item and then that items on the mission go for that <clears throat> okay so mission boards the next thing to look at here is the authority contracts this is where you uh, put in bounties pay fines or collect bounties I haven't got any because I haven't done anything, but this is all the next bit, which is editing loadouts, sorry for that. So as you can see I've created a few, the default loadout you carve the uh, Com P15 which is a, just a standard pistol and you have the flight suit which doesn't provide a lot of protection and it doesn't come with any specific or specialised tools unlike the Maverick suit and the Artemis suit. Uh, once you create loadouts, so let's, let's create a loadout. Let's go for um, let's go for a Maverick suit. We'll put in a let's go for the rocket launcher, and then we'll have a Karma P15, and I'll save the loadout as rockets galore. And now I can delete it, rename it, or equip it. And as you can see, I now have a new loadout called Rockets Galore. I have one for the Artemis suit, and I have one for uh, the Maverick suit, or I just have the standard rifle. Now, these you equip, uh, either you can either do it here before you head out on a mission, or you can do it in flight on the spaceship or shuttle that you're traveling in. By pressing the three key and going to the down of the uh, loadouts and choosing the loadout that you want. <coughs> okay, so there he is. That is an introduction to the training and the uh, concourse. Is now the the big sort of rotating cubes, the sort of referred to as dodecahedrons in space. Uh, they and the long cylindrical sort of space stations the concourse will generally look exactly like this in the smaller uh, space stations it, there's kind of an upper gantry and a bit underneath uh, they don't quite have the same amount of amenities but you will have access to terminals and access to the apex shuttles so there we have it that's a quick introduction to elite dangerous odyssey and how to uh, do uh, some of the missions that you need to do work through um, so we will have a look at one of the uh, pickup missions and delivery missions and also we will take a look at one of the um, 
uh, support missions, and that will probably be to power on a power station. We've already seen that in the tutorial, but you're on your own in this one. So, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you found this video useful. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget, check out Facebook and check out our Twitter feeds. And if you really feel like it, head over to Patreon and donate to my channel. All donations gratefully received. But until then, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, bye-bye.